she has to feel that she's she's still beautiful, still desirable. You know, she she thinks that's all she is. She told me once she kept feeling as if she were in a long, long fall and there was nobody to stop her. Except other men, I'm afraid. She told you about these men? Yes. Every time she felt she was in trouble or that she had done something wrong, she'd come to me and she would cry for forgiveness. And you'd forgive her? I told you, Lieutenant, I love her. But isn't it possible that one day, say Friday, you stop forgiving her? No. And we both know what happens. You get angry, you push it down, you push it away. It doesn't go away, it just sits there, hot and festering, eating you up. And then one day it gorges out of your throat and all the controls are gone. You want to scream your guts out. You want to hit somebody. You want to kill somebody. That's right, isn't it, George? That's the way it is. That's the way it was, wasn't it, George? Yes! But I didn't do it. Nobody. I couldn't do it. Ma'am. I hate to bother you, but we just got a phone call. The body's been washed up on Goat Island. Any identification? Not yet. They're bringing the body into the municipal pier right now. Oh, by the way, uh, the lab reported finding some pepper seeds embedded in the tires of his car, so I'm having some of the boys dig around that pepper grove down near the old dairy. Just thought I'd check it out just to make sure. I'll meet you down at the pier. Great. Hey. Guess we lock him up. Marion Ord, Sergeant Willens, sure sent some of the men out for nothing. Well, here it comes. anything? Like what, Lieutenant? For a start, what about sex? Male, white, somewhere between 20 and 50. Anything after that, I'll need the lab's help. Sailor off that Norwegian freighter? I suppose so. You know, Lieutenant, until the night, I never realized what that word really meant. One word. Remains. Lieutenant! Man's body, huh? Coroner thinks it was a sailor off that Norwegian freighter. Probably was. 
Well, I struck out, too. <laughs> this case comes to one big loose end. No body, no witnesses, no weapon. Except for that mess in the kitchen, it's like it never even happened. All the boys got was a lot of exercise and some pepper seeds. Well, it happened, all right. Take the next right. Well, wait, we gotta go see Ella Meyer and Parker. The next right, Sergeant. Where to? Sports club. Pepper tree. Yeah. Wait for me.
right, Charlie? If anyone asks you if I'm a good detective, the answer's a loud, flat no. <laughs> you kidding? Within the first two minutes I was on this case, I had the most important piece of evidence right here in my hand. I didn't even register. What evidence? The grocery list. I'm a pretty smart detective, but I don't get that. That list showed what Henry Sanford brought to the house. Well, it was cheese, oleo, meat, and the milkman said he brought two quarts of milk and some orange juice. Now, none of that was in the house. It doesn't figure that somebody would kill a housewife to raid her icebox. Whoever took it knew they were going into hiding. And the best bet was Mary Ord herself. Yeah, but how did you figure the sports club? I mean, there's lots of pepper trees. That was just a good guess. But Mrs. Durston, she said Marion had a key to Foley's room. And during the winter, the club's not too busy. So we still got a problem, right? You mean whose blood is all over the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Well, I think I just saw him. Or what was left of him. Yeah, but that was a sailor, the one that fell off the freighter. I don't think so. Not according to my old friend Orvi, down at the pier. That body I saw arrived on schedule. They can look for the sailor tomorrow. Well, then who was killed? I've got a pretty good idea. Oh, here we are. <laughs> 